In this video, I'm going to show you how to add trusted connections to your own private network. It's very, very easy. Now, this is a critical step to get you from junior networker to senior networker. And that's my goal. I'm going to try and get you to kind of skip junior networker and go straight to senior networker so we can get you into that senior networker lounge. And that means you need to add trusted connections. The reason you add your trusted connections is because you create your own private network and these are the people that are going to make your business successful. They're the people that you know and trust. I'm going to show you how to do it first, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about why this is so important. And this is the foundation of what My Most Trusted is about. Okay, so you've got tons and tons of LinkedIn connections, but who do you really know and who do you trust? We need to separate those you trust from the rest of the refresh nonsense that's currently stuck in your LinkedIn profile. Okay, so it's very easy. What you do is you go to the first degree profile of your LinkedIn connection. When you're on that profile, you then simply click the button over here called add this person with their name as your trusted connection. I'll take you through what all of this other stuff means as we go through the video progression over the next few days and weeks. But for now, keep it simple. I want you to just click on add Sheree as your trusted connection. I'm going to talk to you about tagging just now, right now, keeping it very simple. And all you need to do is say, yes, I trust this person. Done. They are now in the database and you are now sorted. What it's also done is it's added a little message to them that you can send or you can edit that message if you want to. I'm not gonna edit that now. Congratulations, you just added your first trusted connection. It's that simple. To get to Junior Networker, you only need to add, to add five trusted connections to get to Junior Networker, but Senior Networker, you need to add 20. So my recommendation is you just spend half an hour right now just adding your trusted connections one by one and building that little network. But you don't have to. You can do it bit by bit by bit, day here, tomorrow there, and just add them in slowly. But the first step to get to these later stages is to add trusted connections. It's not the only step. I'm going to show you the other steps, but this is by far the most time consuming. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. So now let me show you again. This time we're going to go to Gemma. As you can see, Gemma is a super connector. Well done, Gemma. I'm going to add Gemma now as a trusted connection. All I do is I go to make sure she's first degree profile. I say add Gemma as a trusted connection, right? And then I say I trust this person and done, they're in. It's then going to build the little message for me template. I can edit this if I want to. I'm not going to now. Um, off we go. I've now got two people in my trusted connections. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different and recommended. It takes a little bit longer, but highly recommended. This time I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go to Cameron Cundall, first degree. I'm going to say add Cameron as a trusted connection. This time I'm going to add notes and a tag. This is a way for me to separate all my trusted connections and categorize them. I do recommend you do this as you go along. Just give them one tag for now. Even that's enough. If I click on select your tag, there's a whole bunch of these already done for you former work colleague, business networking, friend, family, etc. I'm going to choose family because that's the most important one right now. There's another one called golden recommendation. That's a special tag. I'm going to show you how to use that later. I just want to mention that to you. But right now, Cam is family. I'm into the notes. I'm going to say Cam is my son. Don't really need to make a note about that. But anyway, I'm just going to show you for an example. Then I say, yes, I trust this person. They're in. That's great. And off we go. I've now got three people in my trusted connections. And once again, ChatGPT has put this together for me. And he's written a little message and you can edit this message um, as you wish. It's not cast in stone. I'm not going to send it now because I don't need to. That is literally all you need to do to add trusted connections. So to get to senior networker, you need 20 trusted connections. I recommend hitting 20 now, getting it done. And then I'm going to show you the next steps. Keep in mind the reason for doing this. Your private network your trusted connections, these are the people that make your business successful. They are the ones that are going to refer you. They're the ones you've got to nurture, keep in contact. I'm going to show you how to do that. All the tools are here within My Most Trusted to be able to do that. So we're going to help you nurture them. We're going to help you stay in touch, but really with those people that you know and, touch, uh, know and trust. The final thing that people ask, they say to me, Scotty, what is a trusted connection? What defines a trusted connection? And the answer is this. If you've met them, if you can see that they're, they're a real person and not a bot, 
and you've had a conversation with them and they seem like the right kind of people and you and they're in business somewhere in the world that you're connected to, then they're a trusted connection. You do not have to trust them so much that you'd let them look after your children. It's not that degree of trust. There's another level of trust that you can add later if they really, really are trusted. And that's called the golden recommendation. I'm going to talk to you about that later. But for now, that's trust. So go to your first degree connections, start bringing them people in, build this network. 50 to 70% of all revenue from a small business comes from referrals. If you don't look after your referrals properly and you don't look after your inner circle, then you're going to find it very difficult to get those recommendations and get those referrals and introductions. I'm going to show you how to get those referrals and introductions using MMT in later videos. But for now, just sit back, relax, and add those 20 people. Let's just get it done.